Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here, GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 175. Sorry, 177. Page number 177, the very first problem on the page. Problem number 175. And today is our lesson number 197. Let's take a look at it. The very first problem that you see on that page, page number 177, is a fairly straightforward, simple problem. We are given two circles here, one circle inside the other. We are told that the radius of the inside circle is 8. We are told that the, that the width of the ring is 3 feet. From here to here is 3 feet. Let's give it a name so we can talk about it. A to B. A to B is 8, which is the radius of this small, small circle. A to C is would be 8 plus 3, which is 11, which is the radius of the large circle. And the question simply is, what's the area of the ring? So the area of the ring, the area of the ring is simply going to be the area of the large circle minus the area of the small circle. Area of the large circle is pi r squared, we just found out r, the radius is 11, 11 squared, and 11 squared is 121, so it's 121 pi, and area of the small circle would be pi r squared, which is 8, which is 64 pi. Subtract the 2, 11 minus 4 is 7, 11, and again 11 minus uh, 6 will be 5, so 57 5 is the difference and that's your, that's, that's your answer, that's it, 57 pi. Nothing to it. Answer is D. That's it. Some problem in this book are ridiculously simple and some are just horrible. So you, you go figure. So that was the end of number 175. Let's take, a, let's take a look at the next one, shall we? In the next problem, we are told that the positive integer, positive integer n is divided by 25. We are told that if the square root of n is greater than 25, then which of the following, which could be the value of n divided by 25. Which of the which of the following could be the value of n divided by 25? Well, here's what's going on. We know we know that the square root of the square root of n is more than 25. If you were to square both sides, that becomes n, and that is more than 25 times 25. 25 times 25 is 625. So whatever it is, it's more than 625. Question simply is, which of the following could be the value of n over 25, n over 25, n we just found out is, is more than 625, so if you have something more than 625, this, this is how we write something more than that, 37 with a plus sign means something more than 37, 9 times, 9 with a negative sign on top of means something less, little less than 9, so here we have something more than 625, whether it's a little bit more than 625 or a little bit, or just, or just or a hell of a lot more than 625, it doesn't really matter. What matters to us is that it is more than 625, and if you have a quantity, 625, we know 625 divided by 25 is 25, because 25 squared is 625. If you have something more than 625, and if you divide it by 25, this is going to be more than 25. This is going to be more than 25. That's your answer. That's it. We are looking for something that is more than 25. And obviously, out of five answer choices, only one answer choice will be something that is more than 25. You cannot have more than uh, you cannot have two, three, or four right answer choices. You're not going to have more than one quantity that's more than 25. It's going to be only only going to be one, and that quantity obviously is 
for the rigo on such choice E, which is which is 26. Okay, one more time, since since one one more time here. Let's do it one more time here. We are told that the square root of n is more than 25. That implies that n must be more than 625. So if you take 625, something more than 625, and divide it by 25, obviously whatever whatever the 625 happens to be, if you divide it by 25, it has to be more than 25. And there is only one answer choice with, uh, that is more than 25, and that's answer choice E. That was the end of it. I don't know why I raised it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.